Hi, this is Quantum Mats. Welcome to my channel. In this video, we'll show you a new universal way to create dynamic alerts, both from studies and strategies. If you like my content, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. It will help me to create more and better content for you. So alert has a very long story in Pinescape. So first, they were available only from studies and you had no alerts in strategy. But after that, they added dynamic alerts to strategies, but there weren't dynamic alerts in study and so on. But now I hope it's finally over because they created a way to create alerts dynamically both from studies and strategy in the same way. So let me show you how you can do that. So here I have a very simple strategy with like typical way to uh, like trigger alerts from study with alert condition function. An issue with that, it's not dynamic. You cannot uh, basically change this message dynamically. And also you have to create like, uh, because it's not dynamic, you have to create like uh, like one alert for every signal in your, um, in your code. Let me rewrite it using the new function. The new function is called just alert. And this function has basically two arguments. The first one is a message of your alert, and it can be just a macros, for example. And the second argument is frequency, with which, what frequency do you want to uh, send this alert? So you have a three type of frequency. So first one is alert that frec uh, all. This basically will uh, send you alert every time when this function will be called. Also, here you have a frequency um, once uh, per bar, so it will trigger an alert only once per bar and after that it will wait for another bar to start or you can use once per bar close. And this will, will just fire an alert only at close if this function will be called. So that's it, it's quite easy to rewrite uh, my uh, current uh, uh, current alert. I just need to uh, create like an if statement and if my signal is true, I will just um, fire this alert. As you can see, it's quite simple. Let's save it and add it to chart. And uh, after that, we can go to alerts, select our uh, name of our um, of our script and after that without any other additional parameters you can see you can create this alert and um, it will work and for every time uh, script will call alert function you will receive uh, this alert. Nice thing about this alert is that a message in alert function is dynamic and you can uh, do things like that so you can just add like uh, some uh, you know dynamic values for example you can add you know um, value of your um, fast moving average for example like that and this will work fine as well uh, and uh, the best thing about uh, this alert function is actually that it works absolutely the same way for the strategies and if you move from study to strategy or strategy to study you can keep the same functionality of uh, these alerts. So um, let's just test that. Let's replace this with the strategy and um, let's add it again to the chart and you will see that it works as well. You can go to alerts now, you can select your strategy name and here you see that you have uh, basically three types of selections and you can actually miss, mix uh, your order fields alerts with your alert function uh, calls and basically with only one alert you can uh, automate the entire strategy with all orders and with all your custom alerts or you can select just to receive only fields only or you can select to receive alerts only so as you can see it's really nice uh, function and this will help you a lot to avoid really these complications you had before when you kind of um, transform your study to strategies and strategies to study with alerts. Now it's become much, uh, much easier. So I think that's all for this video. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.